hi everyone so in this video i will be sharing with you what you can do with this uh, chat gpt plus gpt4 engine in designing game-based learning activities or gamified learning activities so, so just for your information the gpt4 engine at the moment at this point of this video is only available for chat gpt plus so you can if you're not on plus then you probably have to wait a bit longer right so let's try this right just want to see how powerful it is in generating game ideas so i have prepared a little bit of uh, context so i have my learning outcome here analyze the elements within natural language processing which is one of my courses that i'm teaching and then these are you know there's a bit of context just to help um gpt to kind of uh, put everything in context and then this one so just five narrative I, maybe i can just reduce it to two so just two narratives that i can use for a game based learning activity so you probably need to start with a narrative first and then see how uh, gpt reacts well look at the name right now the first one the quest of lexiconia i like this i like this you know immediately you get some ideas of what kind of game you can create so uh, it gives you some description in this mystical land of lexiconia blah 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 i mean it's quite lengthy here. I'll, I'll i'll let it load the next one is linguistic time travelers interesting as well now you see now the first thing you need is you you already have one narrative here which is quite interesting uh, you probably need to go through and see whether it's relevant to your learning outcome at the moment i can see it's quite relevant because you know to enhance the nlp crystal performance and then you have um you know the next the second one which is quite interesting let's try the first one let's try the first one so what you need to do now after you have the narrative you probably need to figure out the characters and the challenges so you can say for narrative one can you suggest some key characters that my students can play and uh, challenges for the game for example let's see so you have the characters right the guild masters the fanatic scholar all right interesting syntax uh, syntax expert Mm. semantic specialist so you get different characters for your students so you can actually assign this as a task you have the narrative ready you have all these roles that the student can pick if within the group that's if it's a group of five then everyone will have a, a role and then this is the fan, uh, the challenges you have fanatic puzzle then you have morphological mystery because each will be covering this one back to the learning outcome just now right uh, elements within nlp that are related to linguistics so it actually cover all the component of linguistics so normally if you do a, a normal written assignment then it will be very boring in a way because everyone will be writing more or less the same thing now if you want to make this better right you have all the characters then you have the challenges then you can ask um how do i sequence these challenges across let's say five weeks so as you can see now it's suggesting to you what you can do every week after you have done your lecture maybe then you can see the relationship between what you do every week right and you have a context for your whole course you can actually rename the whole context of your course into lexiconia for example very interesting i mean if you are trying to gamify your whole course right if if you don't want to do that you can actually pick one of these um, challenges as your supplementary activities for every week and then you can accumulate the points so that it becomes like a, a team-based uh, gamified challenge that you can complete every week and then you you have a leaderboard and and whatnot so so you can see you have all your characters your narrative your challenges ready now you probably need a rubric so you can say can you suggest a rubric for this um, you know for this gamified task um, in table form uh, allocate let's say 20% so let's see whether GPT-4 can help you with this right let's see 
so automatically you have your five points this is more like a criterion based uh, kind of assessment if you don't like criterion based it's okay but you can have a different measurement but this is what GPT-4 is capable of doing giving you some ideas on what you can um, evaluate on so you have a language knowledge in application collaboration and work and uh, it will give you all this description descriptors right it will give you all these descriptors for every level and yeah you even have problem solving and critical thinking interesting right so now I have my rubric you can see the um, the criteria and also the descriptors and um, check it out it says here it's 25 point but you have to turn it into 20 but you have to do it yourself but let's say you can throw it out maybe you have um, you, you probably need this more right you can say this one you can say allocate more points for this one for this component let's say you want that more Ah, now it's updating you can see here's an updated version so it changes that part to 10 points the rest you can re remain and it even even tell you like the rest are the same so that's the capability of chat gpt in helping us to generate ideas sometimes you know in in designing game based learning or gamified activities uh, we ran out of ideas so use gpt4 or chat gpt as a way to get some ideas on what you can do in your teaching or learning environment all right so that's all for this sharing if you have other comments that you would like to make then just leave down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.